नमस्ते टू ऑल वी हैव हर्ड द सेवन कोऑर्डिनेटर्स हु हैव वंडरफुली प्रेजेंटेड देयर समरीज एंड आउटकम्स ऑफ ईच पैरेलल कॉन्फ्रेंस and i know how difficult it was for them to put everything within 7 to 8 minutes the time provided by the organizers so i had to stop nachiketa ji because he was encroaching upon others time so i am sorry as we all have heard it is very lively invigorating debates and discussions in the parallel conferences and they have the wonderful ideas passionate thoughts prodding questions by the participants the delegates they have immensely enriched the discussions each one of us has participated in some session or the other as per our interest and inclination and i have attended most of them of course one at a time and the passion that the speakers presented their ideas and very innovative thinking ideas and on the basis of the deep study and research many of them and naturally they have kindled debate among the participants and each session we all felt that uh, the time is short the question answers had to be cut short as it happened now also now the charming is over manthan is over the navaneet has been presented before all of us and i know very well that uh, the coordinators who presented here manoj ji dr nachike tativari vikram sharma ji rashmi pritika ji murli krishna guna maheshan ji all have captured the essence of the six sessions and they try to present it for us i know they have not they may not feel that they have done justice to the each session but however they have tried to capture the essence of each uh, session and present it before us now these uh, outcomes the summaries they together form the road map for actions for next 4 years for each vertical so what are we expected to do yesterday a media person asked me this question how the delegates in their individual capacity can maximize the impact of their participation in this congress and i on behalf of all of you i try to put it to like this in my answer the each delegate has to spread this message and try to do something in his or her personal and individual life family life professional dimension of his life and the social arena we have to connect to others who are inclined to do something who might not have been able to participate in the congress who have some ideas who are already working in the field we have to connect to each one of them and networking with them will definitely force multiply the hindu forces in our countries involve them in some activity carry on the message so we have to embrace the entire society community in each country so that 
the useful, meaningful discussions that have taken place here and the conclusions that you have arrived at will definitely be translated into action. That's why I request the organizers of the Congress to put some of the action points after this Congress is over and share with all the delegates or each of the country in charges because uh, we have spent so many hours in six sessions apart from the grand panels on two evenings. So much of light, so much of enlightenment, so much of knowledge, so much of uh, inspiration. All these things we are carrying. But when we go back in our towns, in our communities, in our countries, we have to see that these things are put into action. Select one theme. Work up upon it. In all the people who are interested and engaged in already. So let us work vigorously. And this Congress had declared in the beginning that these thematic conferences will do this, this and this. I hope you will all agree with me that these thematic conferences articulated the values, creativity and the entrepreneurial spirit. The conferences have provided space to discuss and deliberate upon opportunities that are available and challenges faced by Hindus across the world and how to address them valiantly. These conferences have focused on areas of strategic importance for Hindus and suggested avenues for action and collaboration among Hindu leaders, activists, thinkers for Hindu resurgence. The World Hindu Congress with the theme Jayasya Ayatanam Dharma and in the inaugural session and in subsequent sessions we have heard that the Hindus are a knowledge society and yesterday it was explained that uh, whether Buddhism, Jain, Sikh Everything is on the basis of the knowledge, Bharata. That community, that Rashtra, that nation, the people engaged in enlightenment, enlightening themselves and enlightening the whole humanity. Pradipayema Jagat Sarvam. So that has been the mission that the Hindus have carried for all these. So we have heard that the Vijaya is a, has to be Dharma Vijaya, not the Asuri Vijaya or Dhana Vijaya, not the demonic or the wealthy or opulent victory, but the victory of the Dharma. Conquer nothing but the heart that has been told. We have to lead by example. The Hindus are known for their personal examples, example as a community. Model as a nation, model as a community. Etat desha prasutasya. Etat desha prasutasya sakasha agrajanmana. Samsam chaitran chikcheran prutivya sarvamanava. That is what our ancient, our elders, our forefathers, they declared. The people who are born in Bharat, the Hindus, they are the elderly people, they are the brothers, elder brothers, Agraja. So we call upon the entire humanity to come here and learn how to live some, some charitriya, how to live this life. So this is what we have exhorted to the whole humanity for centuries and that is how 
the Hindus have led by example. Yesterday, in a wonderful session in the evening, Mohandasji has enthused all of us how Hindus are making progress economically. In the same session we heard about technology, about education. No doubt, we have to be a prosperous community. We have to be a wealthy society. We have to be people with advancement of technology and science. We have to be a people that we can lead in different walks of life, political, economic, education, art and culture. All these things are required. And we deserve this. It is our birthright to live like that. And these seven thematic conferences have definitely shown some path to achieve this. And in the future Congress also will deliberate upon this what we have done. However, a wealthy society, a prosperous community, a society with leadership position, a people with all these great achievements, they also will have to show to the world that what yesterday Vembu Sridharji has put it, that contentment and humility. I would like to add one more thing, that is with values and character. There is one Subhashit in Sanskrit. Ajara Maravat Prajno Vidyam Arthancha Sadayet Grihita Ivakeshu Mrutyuna Dharma Machare. The meaning is this. We should earn wealth and also acquire knowledge as if we will never be suffering from any disease and we, were, we are immortal. Ajara Amara means no disease, no death. As if we are living forever, we should acquire knowledge and make wealth. But at the same time, the second line of the Subhashita exalts us how to live. Grihita Ivakeshu Mrutyuna Dharma Macharit. As if our forelock is held by the death we should also perform, follow the dharma. The next moment I may not be here. That's why I should live by dharma. So this combination of Abhyudaya and the Nishreyas, your Abhyudaya and Nishreyas are sadharma. This is what Kanada Muni has said. The material wealth and prosperity and the spiritual advancement that in our personal, family, professional and social life, how we will be able to implement these things? So this is what the Dharma Vijaya means. And I feel Hindus are eminently placed to play this role. At this moment, I would like to remember those lines of a great intellectual and economist, Jean Pierre Lehman. He said in an international, uh, he, he leads an international institution and he wrote, in a global environment, desperate for ideas, philosophy and religion, India is the most prolific birthplace of all three because of the great synergy of democracy and diversity and the much greater degree of self-confidence that Indians now feel. Wherever Indians, he said, we should simply take it as Hindus. Indians and members of the enormous Indian diaspora over which the sun never sets are the thought leaders in economics, business, philosophy, political science, religion and literature. And he goes on saying, the planet needs quite desperately a sense of moral order spirituality and an ethical compass, the Indian religious and philosophical traditions can provide a great deal of all these. Friends, Swami Vivekananda said, 
up Hindus conquer the world with your spirituality. I think material progress and spiritual advancement will make us realize the great theme of this Congress, Jayasya Ayatanam Dharma. Namaskar.